Welsh Enter here, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support so far. Uh, we're just passing 250 subscribers right now, so all I ask for now on is for you to press that subscribe button and hit that yellow bell button to be the first to get a notification when I upload new content. So thank you so much, guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Hi guys, my name is Welsh Hunter and I am back with a new build, but not any build, but a five part build spread over three weeks on my channel. Uh, we are going to start building an underwater base. Um, it's going to get better each video, so please stick with me guys, and this is also a tutorial. So, just so that you don't miss these videos, these uh, five videos say uh, basically I want you to subscribe like and comment guys and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get the first inkling of the video when it uh, when it gets uploaded so be the first so what we're gonna do guys as you can see we started construction constructing a shaft so you're gonna need three um, four, uh, five blocks one side and um, each side guys to make a square all right and this is going to be the bit and this is how big your shaft is going to be then you're going to want to build all the way up then guys from the lake bed all the way to the surface so it's one big tunnel shaft whatever you want to call it all right guys so then we'll move on to the next step once you've completed the shaft this is what you're going to be faced with so we've got a long uh, what looks like a mine shaft, but it is just basically a shaft all the way from the top to the bottom of the lake, and uh, it's all equally sized like you've done, um, so it works really nicely. And the only problem is though, is this. So when we got to the top now, guys, um, and you get on top of your uh, shaft, you will begin to see that it's full of water. So the only way to get rid of this is to siphon every bit of it out using jars. Okay then guys, so once you've cleared your shaft full of water, um, it will look like this basically, an empty dry shaft. So what you're going to want to do then guys, um, don't worry about them blocks that I've accidentally put there, they're not for any particular reason, I've just messed up a bit. But what you want to do is get some metal ladders, or you can use wood, it's totally up to you, but I think metal goes better with metal. So what you want to do then guys is get ma metal ladders, place on the middle block all the way up to the very very top of the shaft so you've got a way in and out um, these can easily be repaired repaired um, they're not they don't take a lot of materials to make so um, but obviously because I'm doing this on creative it's a lot easier for me so once you're at the top then guys um, what you're gonna want to do is um, go and get some blocks any blocks whatever or you could stick with the same blocks that you've made the um, shaft out of but I'm using um, the stainless steel blocks from the new PS4 update so I'm gonna use these um, stainless steel blocks and place on all of the block um, the gaps except for where the ladder is otherwise you will block the ladder up but uh, due to it being a block itself it will not place it just like that and then what you're gonna want to do is get a, um, a hatch I'd probably use a heavy duty metal one as it looks a bit better and it takes a lot for the zombies to get through so a heavy duty, duty hatch will do just fine place that guys and that is your sealed hatch from all of the zombies in and out So as you can see guys, it opens and closes, it looks perfectly fine, and that is how I am going to get in and out safely. Okay then guys, so for the next, this next part, um, you're going to need some blocks of your own choice uh, to start building the base underneath the water, which is going to be connected to the shaft. Um, so use any block you like. I'm using um, a stainless steel as it's one of the hardest blocks on the game. So um, what I personally s suggest guys is get some med medical packs, put them in your belts ready to use. They let you stay underwater longer. Just You've just got to keep on top of it guys. 
Okay then guys, so here it is now, we're underwater. Um, you're gonna need to place, basically make a doorway first off. Um, so three up, three across technically, well one across, so you make a doorway arch. And then you're gonna want to extend that at least ten blocks outwards to make a tunnel. Right, so this uh, tunnel will be connected to your shaft. Um, so basically, once you en enter your mine shaft, you'll be hitting another door in a second, which I'll show you, which will lead into this tunnel. This will um, act as a tunnel just in case water overflows into one, so you you've got enough space to get into another safely. So this is what look, guys, um, your tunnel. So what you're going to want to do now is go and get a vault door. Um, use the heavy duty ones as it keeps water out like every other door, but um, it also keeps zombies out. And I just dropped it, so let's pick it up and we'll chuck it on my tool belt and onto where it should be. So this is where it's going to connect to, guys. So um, let's just put this door in place and this will lock the water out. Um, don't open it once uh, there's nothing on the other side guys, otherwise the water will pour in and you'll have to do it all over again. So just be careful with that guys. So just to show you that what it looked like is that. Okay, guys, so now that we've done that, we're back inside the shaft now and we've gone to the other op opposite wall where the ladders are not to drill two holes. Two so obviously you've seen the water will flood in now because the um, tunnel we just made was full of water. So the only way to get rid of this water guys is to get in there, get your hands wet and uh, basically use jars to take out every bit of water. This will take, it's a lengthy process guys but start at the top of the water and uh, basically that will get rid of it first and then concentrate on the floor last. So this is what it's going to look like guys, after you've been hard at work for a bit. You've got a nice dry tunnel and a nice dry hallway. Okay then guys, so next part is to make the floor. So make sure that you um, be careful and dig out one block of floor. And uh, then basically what you want to do then after you've done dug the floor. Obviously I've got a little bit of water in here now guys it's because I dug one too far. So what you're going to want to do now guys is get a block of your choice and fill this up. So this will act as your floor. And guys, so I also recommend uh, digging out your shaft flooring as well uh, to be able to put a nice flooring in there otherwise it will look very plain and horrible and out of, color, out of, uh, out of sync with the whole thing. So um, don't dig down too deep like I just done on that one block guys, otherwise you're going to have to fill it in with another block. So um, if you want to save resources, don't do that. So um, here we go guys, it's looking nice now and we've got a nice floor in throughout. Okay then guys, so what you're going to want to do now guys is go to the side of your tunnel and start building 10 blocks out either side guys. Uh, we're going to make this uh, base a bit of a rectangle so um, it'll be quite long, and uh, well just the one room anyway. So 10 blocks either side of your tunnel guys, I think the tunnel is like something like 4 or 5, well 3 blocks uh, in length so um, just be mindful of that guys. So you will have to compensate. So um, ten blocks either side of the tunnel, guys. Okay, 
Okay then guys, so once you've done the 10 blocks guys, just come down a bit, say uh, 10, well 5 blocks, 5 or 6 blocks and then like I've done. So this is um, my rectangle guys, it's uh, coming to take place now, so next part is to put the windows in. Okay then guys, so as a, of a window of your choice guys, place them wherever you want. I've placed four here, um, I think it's going to place like six or seven on this side, and then, you know, maybe ten on the long straights on the other side, I don't know. So um, just do that guys. Um, this one is more of a living area um, for you to basically hide from the zombies, but you know still see them you won't be able to fight otherwise you know your windows will smash so yeah and I died <laughs> not keeping an eye on my many bags so here we go guys this is what it looked like um, you're back at the base now after dying which is a pain in the ass and then uh, basically you're going to start building with your blocks now um, I'd stick with the same blocks as you built the first layer with so build this three up from the blocks that you first put down guys so there's four blocks in total when coming to the windows guys just do the same three blocks up instead of four and you'll be fine so it's all level Okay then guys, so as you can see now, it's uh, coming to take place, we've got um, the correct height now to start putting a bit of a roof on. So what you're going to do guys is just fill this whole space to make one big ceiling, roof, whichever you want to call it, and uh, then we'll be able to start taking the water out of this area to make it livable. So one giant roof guys, alright? Hey then guys, so this is what you will see afterwards. I've put some lights so you can see it because it is a bit dark under this water as it is night time. Um, so you can see that the shaft is connected to the tunnel and the tunnel is connected to your house. And this is inside guys once you've taken out most of the water guys. Um, if you're a bit lazy and you can't be bothered to take out all of the water on the floor, dig down so the water sinks and then put blocks on top of it. I've decided to put a nice um, flooring on you so it looks a bit more homely a bit more basey so um, yeah that's what you do to get rid of the water on the floor okay then guys so this is the base now the floor is done um, I think it is about time that we look through the windows just to see what it looks like and the closer you get to some windows guys the foggier it gets and some windows you get closer to them you can see right through them it, just depends. I think it's about time guys that we put some light on the subject. Um, it is dark gloomy in here. Um, I prefer torches because I don't believe that uh, you'd be able to get electric in the zombie apocalypse. So um, yeah, lights I think is best with torches guys on the walls. It looks better. Even candles work nicely as well. They give a more glory, gloomy atmosphere. Okay then guys, so once you've done that guys, you've got it nice lit up and you've got it all nice and dry. I think it's about time we put some furniture in here. Um, I am not going to show you the whole clip of me putting furniture in here guys, otherwise it will take quite a while. But we'll put some, uh, we'll put a nice massive corner set in there for when you want your zombie bitches over for a nice party. Um, to drink gone off water and shit like that. So um, yeah, a nice corner set you will do nicely. Um, I've also put a few desks in here, guys, um, a CCTV system, etc. 
and uh, it's coming along nicely so in the next video guys I will show you what I've done and then uh, we'll move on to the next video which will be out in a few days time